everyone welcome to my channel it's your girl abriana and today i'm coming to you to share some tips and also give you all some information about the hesi a2 exam that's required for some nursing schools so for the hesi a2 exam it is a comprehensive exam and it consists of eight different subjects those subjects are biology math chemistry reading comprehension vocabulary grammar biology physics and yeah that's it really yeah those are the eight so each school they're going to um, pick out of those eight which ones they want to test you on and you will have four hours to complete the test now in terms of timing there is four hours like i mentioned but with that being said you have four hours to take the whole exam this is something that a lot of people did not talk about so when i was going into my exam i was nervous about running out of time for different sections especially math but do not worry about that you have enough time to finish your exam there isn't anything that's going to be individually timed so you're not going to be given 50 minutes to finish math you're going to get the whole four hours and as you go into your test you're going to select which subject you want to start off with first and you just pretty much pick and choose you know which ones you want to do in any order that you choose from basically with that four hour window Okay, so I did get a 90% on my HESI exam, and I'm so excited about that, and I'm just more so excited that it's over with. So, in terms of how did I study for my HESI exam, Nurse Shy, I believe, yes, Nurse Shy, she helped me a lot. She has videos on every subject, I believe, that's on the HESI exam. I watched all of her videos, and I wrote my notes down. And I just redid a lot of the practice questions that she did, especially for math. There's a lot of fractions and ratios and decimal questions like that. So I definitely reworked those questions. Now, with that being said, since we're on the topic about math, you are given a calculator on the exam. So on your computer, it's gonna be an electronic calculator on there that you can access 24 7 while you're taking the exam okay so do not worry so when it comes to math a lot of it was a lot more simpler because you do get that calculator so like I said nurse was my number one resource that I used for studying that was the first thing I did when I started studying I did give myself three weeks to study for the exam or I guess two and a half weeks well no three weeks to study but really it was two and a half weeks because the first week i was just like kind of lollygagging and i was just doing the nurse shot videos once a day like i'll just do a subject every day and just write my notes down and then that was it second week that's when i actually started to go back to those notes and do like practice questions with those and do like free exams which i will also be putting down below practice questions is your best tool to use when studying for this exam because the more questions that you see the better you'll get at answering them so like i said i will be putting down some practice question tests like some full length tests free tests um in the description box that you could use and like i said this is also a great use source so so far we got nurse shy and a lot of free practice exams that i did in order to pass with a 90 percent now when it comes to another free resource quizlet oh quizlet 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 is going to be your best friend specifically for anatomy and physiology and vocabulary the quizlet that i used for anatomy and physiology was word for word bar for bar oh, word for shit. word bar for bar literally on the exam now i cannot say whether that will be the same so that's why I say definitely still use those other resources like Nurse Shy and Nurse Hub. But Quizlet, literally go on, go to the link that I'm posting in the description box for the anatomy and physiology section and definitely study that if you have to take that exam because, yeah, I got a 100% on anatomy and physiology. So that's how good it was. Take my word. Take my word. Okay. And um, when it comes to vocabulary, the more words you know, the better. Now, when it came to vocabulary, it was something that I was a little bit nervous about because, like, I'm not a human dictionary. Tell me, I'm listening. I'm back this way. I do. And there's a gazillion words in the world, so you know, 
I think definitely using Nurse Shy definitely help and also looking at the words on Quizlet that I will definitely, like I said, be posting in the description box. Um, just looking over those words, you know, knowing what they mean and, you know, the more words you know, the definition of the better. But there's really like, I, I can't really say that is really a way to move around with the vocabulary. Like you just kind of have to use context clues because the way that they ask the questions, which is a good thing, they're not going to just like flat out ask you what is a, what does a, what's the definition of a mirror? They're not going to ask you that. They're going to say a mirror is showing a reflection then they'll underline the word mirror and just be like which word best defines the underlying word something like that or what's an antonym of the underlying word in this sentence but definitely use nurse shy she's going to go over things like you know just a lot of different vocabulary words that you may see on the hesse a2 exam i personally do not remember because <laughs> I'm lucky like I really don't remember what words were on there emotional damn it specifically but um I feel like I, well like I said I did surprisingly well in that section also and I think just going over vocabulary words helped me a lot like I said using Quizlet and Nurse Shy's video now another resource that I've used those first two were free this third one is not free but it is extremely helpful. Um, this is Nurse Hub. Nurse Hub cost me about, I think, $25. And at first, I was strict on like not using any paid resources. I was like, I'm going to do this for free and I'm going to pass. But at the end, I started getting a little nervous and I was like, I really want some more practice questions. So I just broke down and I got Nurse Hub. And I'm so excited I got Nurse Hub because they have a gazillion different practice questions for each subject so whether you're taking biology and physics or ev everything which i don't think no school is gonna make you take every subject but whatever subject that you need nurse hub has every subject and it breaks it down by what they're testing on and each how can i put this i will show like on the side like a screen recording of what the format of nurse hub looks like but basically for each subject they divide it into each pretty much like discipline that's being tested on it has multiple questions for each different subject and within that subject if that makes sense so they also have like five practice tests for each subject also so that was definitely another good resource to use yeah i definitely recommend using nurse hub especially for chemistry and math and reading because a lot of people browse over reading but reading is definitely something a lot of people say you can't study for but i think it's just more so in the aspect of getting used to reading the passages and knowing how to answer those questions the more practice you know the more you practice it the better you will be at it so definitely do not sleep on practicing for reading practice for reading and definitely practice for vocabulary okay. so also like i said when it came to the math part i use nurse shy's practice videos nurse hub and yeah so honestly you guys this test is not something to stress about wait a minute yes it is it could be a difficult test but if you study you using those resources i just gave you quizlet nurse hub and nurse shy you will pass the exam you will pass the exam use the free resources that i provided below and if you could definitely i would purchase the nurse hub subscription and just cancel it after you pass yes after you pass your exam cancel the subscription and just use those resources practice questions are going to be your best friend and just try not to stress about it as much as you can you're going to be fine you're going to pass the test and you will be accepted to nursing school okay yes so yeah with that being said thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i wish you all the best of luck on your hesi a2 exam i'll see you later